Today I'm going to show you a simple circuit that you can use to generate a constant current. The main components of this circuit are an NPN transistor and a handful of diodes. I chose a 2N4401 NPN transistor and 1N914 diodes. The important characteristics you need to be aware of are the base to emitter forward voltage of your transistor, in my case about 0.7 volts and the forward voltage of your diodes. In my case, we have about 0.63 volts. We take a look at the circuit. I want to generate 10 milliamps constant current through this load resistor, which I have arbitrarily chosen as 100 ohms. To do that, I chose to have three diodes connected in series from across the base to ground. The three diodes generate a 1.89 volt fixed voltage reference across this node. If we have our base to emitter junction and we have our emitter resistor, we know that they have to add to 1.89 volts to be the same as this diode reference. We take our 1.89 and subtract our VBE of 0 0.7, we have 1.19 volts, which is about 1.2 volts, left across our emitter resistor. So now we have 1.2 volts across that resistor and 10 milliamps flowing through that resistor to ground. Use Ohm's law, 1.2 divided by 0 0.01 gives us a 120 ohm resistor for our emitter resistor. Now we know every component except our base resistor. For my supply, I've chosen to have 5 volts. This circuit should be functional from 3 to 30 volts. But 5 volts is pretty common. So if we have 5 volts here, we have 5 minus about a 2 volt drop here. It gives us about 3 volts across that resistor. 3 volts across that resistor. Arbitrarily, I choose to have 1 milliamp flowing through these diodes. We take 3 volts divided by 1 milliamp. It gives us a 3000 ohm resistor here. And just to be safe, the smaller you make that resistor, the better performance you might have. I chose this resistor to be 2.2K ohms. Now we know all of our values. Go over to the actual circuit. Here we have our single NPN transistor, our three diodes, our 2.2K resistor, our 120 ohm resistor, and our 100 ohm resistor. I have a multimeter connected across the 100 ohm resistor. So we expect our 100 ohm resistor to have 10 milliamps flowing through it, therefore by Ohm's law generating 1 volt across that resistor. When I turn on the power supply, we read about 1 volt, almost 1 volt.